Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well and safe. In Excel, have you come across a situation where you need to combine different text available in different columns? If yes, then this video is going to be a very helpful video for you. Right? We have a data set here, column A, column B and column C and we want the result as available in column T. Right? So for that, what we are going to do, we are going to use different formula and try to combine the text available in different columns and then uh, see which is the best formula that we can use right so now you already would have noticed that there are two formulas which looks pretty similar concat and concatenate yes whatever you guessed is right so these two does the same function except concat allows the selection of range but the concatenate doesn't allow right so let's go ahead and start uh, using these functions and try to combine the data and let's evaluate which is the best one right so let's go with the concat first how do I put my formula equals to I type concat I open bracket when you when you open the bracket then Excel will tell you what you need to do. It tells you you need to select text one, comma, text two, comma, text three. For now, we have only three texts. If you have more than the, uh, more than three text, also you can just go on selecting those, right? So here we go. Boom! We have the combination of data in these three columns: Mado Chalk, Christopher Daniel. Shah Khan and so on right but the problem is we don't have it the way we want we wanted a space in between Madhav and Shah right but we don't have that how do we do that we just need to insert a space in between these how do you insert a space it will be double quotes space double quotes right. you have here it still has a problem but let's come back to that problem later and uh, let's see which formula in these four will be the better option to use just to avoid that error or extra step I would say now let's put a concatenate formula same way it's equal to concatenate open bracket then I'm going to select cell 1 cell 2 cell 3 enter I drag down the formula and I will add space in between double quotes space double quotes double quotes space double quotes right so we have it the third formula that we have is using and also we can combine how do we do that is equal to first cell click and second cell click and third cell enter right again you see the same problem right there is no space in between Madhav and Cha what you need to do again insert a space in between double double quotes space double quotes comma click and and after B2 double quotes space double quotes all right I'm just dragging everything to drag the formula down so that I have data everywhere if you watch closely the data that we have in column E F and G right though it looks very similar to what we have in column D it is not right if you closely watch the space in between Madhav and Cha is 
not a single space it is two space right so same case with Shoaib and Khan same case with Krishna there as well right so how can we remove this we have to input one more formula for that again this is extra work for us right if you are using these formula you have to use trim and close bracket right you can use trim formula for everything what trim formula does is trim formula just uh, removes all the unnecessary space okay so we have the data as we wanted now correct so if we are using these three formulas which are pretty common uh, which are pretty famous uh, in the Excel world these needs some extra uh, effort to make it as we want it correct but Excel has brought in a very useful formula which is called text to join using which you can do everything in one shot okay so how do we do that just put equals type text join open bracket it asks for delimiter delimiter is nothing but what do you want to have in between when you add two cells right so cell 1 and cell 2 you are adding and what you want to have in between these cell 1 and cell 2 data that's what your delimiter says right so I will say I want to have a space in between these two a single space then I'll put comma then Excel will say what do you want to have do you want to have do, do you want to ignore empty cells now Excel says what do you want to do further do you want to ignore empty cells or do you want to include empty cells so for this exercise we don't want to include empty cells we just want to ignore empty cells correct so that is the reason I click through just double click on that comma now text 1 text 2 text 3 this you can do it in two ways you can individually select or if you have a uh, number of cells to be selected then probably you can select a entire range right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select the entire range close bracket boom see it gives exactly what we wanted right a single formula a simple formula and it avoids using multiple formulas right and entering the data instead of using multiple formulas we can use this single formula of text join to get the result it's easy and very effective hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn uh, more about excel tips and tricks Please do subscribe, share and like my channel.